All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So today we are going to be taking on the newest Infinite Dragon Ball History stage on Global, which is stage 18 versus the participants of the 25th World Tournament. So with that said, let's jump right into it here. And the team we'll be using is this one right here with the double int Majin Majita leads. We also have the AGL Super Saiyan Kid Goten the Fizz Super Saiyan Kid Trunks, the Intercule, the AGL Hercule and Boo, and finally, the Fizz Oob. Now, uh, as always with these videos, I like to complete all the missions in a single run, right? So uh, that's why we brought the last three units there because all three of them satisfy the uh, Earthlings and World Tournament category requirements. So. Uh, yeah, that is the team. The items are the Princess Snake and Aider. And uh, yeah, let's jump in here, guys. Oh, by the way, feel free to race me. Let's jump in in three, two, one, go. Okay, so the first enemy we're facing should be... Oh, what was his name again? What was his name again? It's been so long. Uh, Pintar. It's Pintar. Okay, so we're getting the Majin Vegeta entrance animation which I don't get to see too often I do use this guy a lot but I usually have the uh, entrance animations turned off right because if you're farming links and stuff like that it's kind of annoying to see it over and over again but nonetheless great animation there goes trunks and hopefully we have the goten and trunks together on a rotate oh we don't okay of course so I think for this rotation, I might actually take Goten out so we can get him with the uh, Trunks and then I guess we'll run the Majin Majita and Hercule and Boo together, although they only share one Link, which obviously is not ideal. Uh, maybe I'll link the Majin Majita with somebody else, but for now, we'll do yeah, Hercule and Boo and Majin Majita and then we will float. A go 10 to eventually get him together with the trunks and that's going to be basically the rotation that carries us through the uh, entire stage. Okay, so Majin Majin did make some good damage. The Hercule, not so much, but he's mainly here just to fulfill the category requirements, so I don't really expect too much from him. Uh, about 3 mil from the Goten, and Pintar is still alive. Okay, so obviously we will be keeping the Trunks in this rotation, and he should be able to finish off the uh, Pintar by himself. Let's see. So on the bright side, we are tanking really, really well. Trunks getting about the same attack stat as the Goten, and there he goes. Okay. Second enemy is Videl, and if I link up the Hercule and the Intercule, they actually share quite a few links, but this rotation would basically do like no damage whatsoever. At the very least, this Hercule has Fierce Battle, but maybe we'll do the Int Majin Vegeta with the Int Hercule instead of the AGL Boo. I mean, the Hercule's a better tank anyways, so... Yeah, this probably makes a little bit more sense. But essentially, we're just waiting to get to the uh, Goten and Trunks rotation every time, because they're gonna be doing the most damage by far. Although, Majin Vegeta doing some good work. That was, that was impressive, okay. So now we have the Super Saiyan 2 Great Saiyan Man. Um, Let's see, I guess I'll leave Goten where he is because he has more defense, he does, okay. And wow, they have close to... Well, he has over 200k for the Goten and then almost 200k for the Runks. Very, very nice. Very, very nice, okay. Uh, there is also a turn mission for this stage, which I forgot about. I think it's like 15 turns. Or is it 20 turns? You do have to finish the stage within a certain amount of turns to complete all the missions, but I think it was something like fairly reasonable, like 20 turns or something like that. Um, I don't think we're going to get even close to that. I think within like probably 15 turns. 
will be able to finish it out. But maybe I'm getting too confident. Just, you know, the two first two fights were relatively easy, but this guy is proving to be a little bit more of a problem. Oh, I see. Okay, so that was the reason why I wanted to originally run the Mata Medita with the AGL Hercule, because the AGL Hercule is a support unit. I forgot. Yeah, the AGL Hercule provides key plus two and like, I think 30% attack and defense for Majin Buu Saga units. And as you can see, even though we have Fierce Battle with the Int Hercule, we can't really get any super attacks off because these guys don't share key links. And that's also a problem. That's also a problem. So I might have to actually, yeah, uh, put AGL Hercule back on the on the other rotation with uh, Mata Majita. Because I can't have just like one dead rotation, you know, every other turn. I guess I could. It's not a huge deal. But yeah, I'd rather get supers off with Mata Majita as well. So, um, yeah, we'll do Mata Majita and AGL Hercule again soon. Uh, there we go. Nice additional from Fizz Trunks. And now we have this guy who is named Killa. I think it's Killa. Yeah. Um, let me see here. So if we just give one orb to this Majin Medita, and then we give... Uh, is there a way to get those Int orbs? I don't think so. Not on this rotation, but let's try it. Let's give these to Hercule. Then we can get two Int orbs for the other Majin Vegeta, but not enough for a super. So yeah, this rotation is really rough. I didn't really think this through. Um, my original prediction of sub-15 turns might not work out if uh, things continue to go the way they've been going so far. Although, this additional will help. This, this additional is very welcome. Okay, so we'll finish him off with the Goten. This guy has like no HP for some reason. I don't know if it's because like he hits really hard or just the fact that the character sucks, right? <laughs> but um, you would think, logically speaking, that the enemies get harder and harder with each successive stage, right? But nah, they actually kind of made it um, I guess more accurate to the anime where like these guys even though they come after the Super Saiyan 2 Great Saiyan Man uh, they seem a lot weaker because they are much weaker characters right so that's kind of cool I guess that's kind of interesting that they did that okay here we go with token attack um, I'm guessing we'll one shot this guy now with this token attack attack stats kind of low because obviously we only get one link but with the boost from the token attack, should be a lot of damage. Should be a lot of damage. There you go, almost 10 mil. <laughs> almost 10 mil right there. All right, Mighty Mask, Mighty Mask. Um, obviously, we'll put Trunks in the first slot. And I'm gonna try to save the Int Orbs for the Majin Vegeta, although I don't think gonna work yes yeah, not gonna work okay that's my bad so hopefully he gets an additional but um you know what we're not here to showcase Majin Vegeta anyways you guys know what he's all about he's, he's a great unit so um it's not a big deal we might just take a little bit longer than we really need to like this should have been a one rotation kind of deal right like that should have that, that should have been it for Mighty Mask um, after Majin Vegeta Super, but unfortunately we couldn't get a Super, so it's, uh, you know, one more attack. No big deal. Okay. So I think we have three more enemies after this. I'm trying to remember who they are. I know Hercule's the final boss for sure. So before that we have uh, Android 18. Is Android 18? Ooh, I think she is one of them. Oh yeah, we have Android 18. Okay, so there must be only two enemies left then. I think it's 18 and Hercule, and that's it. Unless I'm misremembering. We'll see, though. We'll see. Now, if they're going to be accurate with uh, Jewel and Killa and Pintar, 
as far as like how powerful they are, then maybe they'll do the same with Hercule, which means that he would be the weakest final boss of like any infinite Dragon Ball history stage we've had so far, right? That would make sense, logically speaking. We'll see if they follow through with that, but that's my prediction at the moment. I haven't seen anybody else do this. Obviously, I haven't done it before, so I have no idea if I'm going to be right, but I'm, gonna, I'm just going to put that out there for now to see uh, if my prediction comes true. I think it's it's sound. I think it's, it's very valid, so here we go. We should be able to finish off 18 with this rotation, and then we just got one more guy, which is Hercule. We're about 10 minutes in at this point which um, is, is pretty quick, that's, that's pretty fast. And we should definitely be able to finish it within the X number of turns that are required. And you know what, hey, this 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 fight right here, this, this interaction right here is kind of canon. <laughs> this Hercule punching 18 and nothing happening. Okay, and then uh, that might hurt a bit, nope, that's fine. And then, yeah, Majin Vegeta gets one hit in, and she's she's done. So we just have the Hercule to contend with. And let's see how much HP he has. Oh, wow. Okay. So, I was wrong. I mean, unless he's really, really low, to, like, weak defensively, and he takes a ton of damage, which is possible. Um, this guy has a lot of HP. I guess like regular final boss health bars. Let's see how much damage he takes here though. Oh, and he dodges too. Okay. Did into a lot of damage though. Oh, okay. So I think he's taking a lot of damage. Oh, taking a lot of damage, but he's also dodging a lot. So... I guess it kind of balances out. Like he's he's definitely weak. He definitely seems weak, but um, he also doesn't take a lot of hits. So this might take a minute. This might take a. It's like the Invisible Man in um in Ultimate Clash, right? Like he's really easy, but sometimes he can take you know a couple of minutes to beat because he just keeps dodging every single attack. And of course, this guy. I was gonna say, of course, he doesn't dodge the Hercule attack. But he does dodge it. He doesn't dodge this one, but of course it's because it's gonna do no damage. So hopefully one of these kid supers land, because I think um we might be able to one-shot him <laughs> with either Goten or Trunks. We'll see. Okay, there's a super, I'm gonna say 100. Close, 95. Land. Ooh, we didn't one-shot him, but we came close. Okay, this one should kill him if he does not dodge. So, all right, one more hit. One more good hit, and I think we got him. Okay, Maj Majida gets a super. Um, might not be enough, though, considering we have the type disadvantage here. Come on. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Hercule and Boo. That does land, but it's probably not gonna be very little. Yeah, that's what I thought. And the additional, and this one's probably gonna land too, because, yeah, why not? <laughs> Just so much unnecessary, like, extra time. We should have finished this a long time ago. Oh, oop. Do it. Additional super. Wow, okay, so he's not dodging us anymore did he did he run out of like dodge charges or something because that's like four attacks in a row that i've landed now okay if either of these kids don't get dodged that's gonna do it here we go at this point i'm sure a lot of you guys have already finished um it's not really much of a race anymore Okay, there we go, and he is dead. Let's see our final time. I think it's around 13-ish minutes. 13.30, like that. 
and it is about almost exactly that, 1334.6. And I'm guessing a lot of you guys were able to do it close to 10, 11 minutes, so I'm sure I lost to a lot of you guys, which is cool. Let me know your best times in the comments down below. And let me see something real quick. Do we have enough to, whoa, hold on. Did I not finish all the missions? Dude. <laughs> That's really sad. So it's actually 15 turns. You know, if we hadn't been dodged so many times, and I didn't have like bad luck with the uh, other rotation with like the Mata Vegeta and the Hercule, we definitely should have been able to beat it within 15 minutes, but now, sorry, not 15 minutes, 15 turns, but now we have to go back and uh, do it all over again. Not in this video, obviously, I'm done here, but um, yeah, I'll have to do it again. I'll, I'll definitely have to do this again. So yeah, um, let me know in the comments once again, guys, what your best time was. Hopefully you were able to complete all the missions in your first run. If not, 15 turns is not unreasonable, um, but it might be tough considering the hurt kill at the end with all the dodges. If you get really bad luck with the RNG, then um, it could definitely screw you. Actually, if I go back with like a proper, like a regular team, you know, without having to worry about the category restrictions, then I should be able to 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 just absolutely destroy <laughs> this stage, right? Because if we run like a regular Majin Usaga team or like a 200% team with the uh, Gifted Warriors Majin Usaga units, um, it should be a wrap. It should be a wrap. So I'm gonna probably do that just to make it quick. But um, there you go, guys. Thank you so much for watching. That is stage 18 versus the participants of the 25th World Tournament. Uh, as always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new, hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.